Well, thank you so much for taking the time and joining me today. Of course. Thanks for having me. So I guess we'll just get right into it then. Um, so I have a few questions for you. Uh, sure. So uh, can you share a, just an easy one to go into? Can you share a fun fact about the band? Uh, God, I, I, I really need to prepare better, like off the dome stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I mean, the, the obvious one, right. Is that we're all from like a million different projects. Um, the, uh, the whole band was kind of started like half by accident. I don't even actually think that like any of us thought a hundred percent that it would like work out. Um, I think it was just one of those like one of those conversations you have with your friends where it's like, wouldn't it be cool? Yeah. And those you are, know, all and it usually just years. dies out, you know, like some people talk about doing podcasts. Some people talk about fucking it's like starting a business. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Usually that, <laughs> but yeah, that's probably that, uh, off the dome. That's the closest thing I can come up with. I don't know how fun that fact is, but no. So I guess this is my next question, but I think that probably ties more a little bit into it, but uh, how did the band come together? Yeah, so um, I had written a song um, which wound up being called Gaps. It was one of the songs that we released uh, earlier this year. And it was originally written to be used for another band. And um, uh, things wound up not working out with that other band. And so uh, I had sent the song to Maddie, our drummer, because um, I had done some writing with him, uh, with his band from Ashes to New. And basically just like, I can't remember if I was like, like, like do you like do you think this is good or like do you think like a label would want it or a band would want it or whatever like I was just, I was it was basically just like I think this song is good and now it has nowhere to go yeah. you know and um and he was like I mean if you're trying to do something with this like I would do something with you but it had a different singer on it at the time yeah. um and so I I redid the vocals and then sent both versions just saying singer one and singer two I didn't tell anybody who it was but I sent it to Maddie and then a bunch of other people just to see like who preferred what and yeah. surprisingly surprisingly more people voted for my take so really cool then it like yeah it felt cool but it was also yeah. like well shit now i gotta figure out how to do this <laughs> yeah. you know it throws a wrench um, in the a little bit <laughs> yeah exactly um so but no i mean it was it was a cool like it was definitely a confidence boost because at, at that point, any writing that I had done with people before, like I had always been on the instrumental side of things because I've been a guitar player for so long. So yeah. um, I had never really considered myself very good at writing lyrics or like top lining anything. And so th that song was kind of like the the springboard to me realizing like, oh, I think I can do that. So then I just did it like six more, eight more, ten more times. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, That's a really cool moment to have, though. Yeah, yeah. Nice to know you can do new things when you're in your 30s. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So, oh, uh, what's the meaning behind your guys' band name, Hillhaven? Uh, I wish I could say there's some sort of deep meaning. Um, there were two, there's two things. One, it, I, it was like most band names that people settle on. I think it was the one that sucked the least. And, <laughs> um, and we wanted, so it's, it's, it's the, my first childhood home was on a street called Hillhaven Court. So oh, pretty, so cool. like pretty normal. Um, yeah. But um, I think it was two words. I can't remember. But um, it like the conversation that we had was like, it would be ideal to find a band name that didn't like pigeonhole you yeah. too much. You know, like it sounds like it would probably be a rock band of some kind, but like it could technically go just about anywhere. And I, yeah. what I really yeah. wanted to avoid even though we do like metalcore sounding stuff a lot, like I, I wanted to avoid being like, oh, that's definitely a metalcore band. Yeah, for you sure. know what I mean? Because yeah. you don't really know how things are going to evolve. So I just wanted this kind of like neutral name. Well, that's kind of cool to have that, like, because you never know with where you're going to go. And especially mm -hmm. you see that with artists all the time. They go, they start one area and then they go into a completely different area. So it's cool to like have that neutral base. So you don't have to like kind of change what you're doing or like. Yeah. Or, and like, I mean, we're, part of it. we're doing like, like very accessible, like radio mm -hmm. intended music. You know what I yeah. mean? So like, it also helps to have like a relatively clear vision going in you know yeah. like like i don't think like i you know i wonder if bring me the horizon i like their band name but i wonder if that would be their band name if they knew where they were gonna end up yeah for sure for sure you know um so uh what's the dynamic like within the band how do you guys collaborate when writing music or composing music 
So the writing was um, pretty like unilateral just because getting us all in a room together is difficult um, Yeah. <laughs> because of all the touring that we do individually. So um, it kind of became clear to me at one point um, that like it seemed like I had everybody's trust, like they liked the stuff that I had done already. And basically it was like, I really want to see this go somewhere. I want to at least like get it released. So um, if I want that to happen anytime soon, I should probably just do it, Yeah. you know? So obviously like everything was sent, sent into like our group chat for like feedback and stuff. And I mean, Ricky was very helpful on like the lyrical side of things. Like um, there would be certain, certain areas where like I knew the general phrasing that I wanted, or like I had like a melody in mind or something, but I was just, And I knew the idea that I wanted to try to convey, but I just couldn't figure out the words for it. Um, and so like, I would send him like, Hey, here's like, and here's like the, here's the song with like a piano doing the top line over it. Like throw, like throw me some ideas. So um, the last song we put out temple and tomb, he was really helpful with that, especially. So, um, you know, there were some, you know, colla uh, collaborative, I almost said collateral. Uh, there were some collaborative moments, um, but for the most part, the the writing was just kind of me locking myself in hotel rooms and tour buses and stuff and just like getting it done so that we could sort of pick from what was there and decide like what was going to be a single and all that. Well, that's really cool. Like when, whenever I was looking into your guys' band, like I think one of the one of the things that stuck out to me the most was one of the articles I read was it's like a group of all star members. And I was like, that Mm-hmm. is that is like so accurate because you guys all have your own kind of thing going on. But then you guys came together to do this. And it's really cool. <laughs> Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, you know, and like, I won't deny it. There's an obvious, like, uh, advantage to launching a band with people who other people already know. Yeah, You for know, sure. like, it, you, sk you skip a few stages, you know, in the early social media days, so it does help. <laughs> good, good. So congrats on your guys' new single this time tomorrow. I just gave Thank it a listen you. yesterday, and I literally cannot stop listening to it. I'm obsessed with it. Hell yeah, thank you. <laughs> so that's, what, uh, what does that song mean to you? Uh, so, I mean, if uh, if you go back and listen to all but one of the other songs that we put out, everything is uh, overwhelmingly pretty negative. Um, a lot of a lot of anger, a lot of like shit talk, uh, <laughs> a lot of sarcasm. You know, like just like me, basically, just like yeah. Um, and uh, so this was like. At some point during... Oh, what did I just do? Hold on a second. Oh, no, that's the website. Okay, I th Dude, I thought I, I thought I shut the meeting off. I was like, fuck. Um, <laughs> uh, at some point in the process, like about halfway through, like it became evident to me that like at some point there's going to have to be a, a song where I'm sort of looking at everything that I'm currently bitching about from like a... like a zoomed out like healthier perspective you know um and i had i had the hook kind of in my head like i think the that this time tomorrow i'll be on my way i think i had that um because i was in i was in a shitty situation for a little bit and was just like not enjoying things and um but like on the last day on the last day that i was there you know It was like that, like that senioritis thing, like when you're, you know, getting to the end of high school or college or whatever. And you're like, you're the last day is the hardest fucking day to get through because like, you know, that it's done, you know. And so that was like, literally, it was just like I was telling myself that like throughout. I was just like, just like literally this time tomorrow, like this will not be a problem anymore, you know. And um, and so that kind of became like a more sort of all encompassing, like emotional thing. Um, and yeah, it was just something where. Like I wanted to, I wanted to have some like glimmer of hope <laughs> somewhere, you know, cause I think not just from a personal perspective, but like in general, like rock and metal bands, like we're usually singing about bad stuff. Yeah. It's easier, it's easier to make heavy shit when you're mad about something. Um, and, you know, like new material that I'm working on, there's plenty of things that I'm still upset about. So like, it'll be fine. But like, um, Yeah. <laughs> we got we got room for everything. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And and also like the 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 process, I think I said this to somebody earlier today, the the the, the whole process of like writing all of these songs like
from like a sort of like cathartic healing perspective, like it, it kind of felt like I was taking like all of the like negative emotions and experiences and, and, you know, sort of grudges or whatever I might've been holding on to and kind of felt like I was just putting them all in one place and just like burning it all to the ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, just sort of like get like, like getting it out was my way of getting rid of it kind of thing. Yeah. And, um, and so that was another, that was another thing of like, when, when it was time to actually like write the meat of the song, because the hooks, the hooks come together like quicker than everything else it's not always quick but they're usually the quickest part because they're yeah. like i kind of have a clear path in my head the verses are where like sometimes it'll take months for me to finish it um and so it was like kind of trying to figure out like until i sort of had that feeling about it it was it was sort of hard to figure out where to go with this song in terms of like am i like talking about the negative thing but then being like but it's okay because this time tomorrow right yeah. um uh or is it like is it all positive is it all you know what i mean and so that's obviously what it wound up being so yeah it's 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 um i mean it's pretty i think it's pretty on the nose but it's just like it's it's literally like the everything is going to be okay yeah. <laughs> kind of song you know yeah well that's what one of the lines that really had me hooked was the come hell or high water we'll make it out alive mm -hmm. so that's what uh, so like do you discuss or do you strive for like in your music to like kind of discuss mental health a little bit or is that um, I, I, just I, I, yeah I don't I don't think I ever like explicitly like said to myself like oh I'm gonna cover this because like I have my own struggles with it obviously yeah. I think I think most of us most of us do especially if you're a millennial or younger I think it's just sort of in your <laughs> DNA yeah right yeah the the at, if nothing else the internet has convinced you you're depressed um, <laughs> <Yes>. um <laughs> but um but I think I think it was more of just something where I I realized that writing from a like super personal perspective and kind of taking the metaphor out of it as much as humanly possible was where I like it, that that's how I kind of found the path into being able to write lyrics and things like that because I I came up in like the technical death metal progressive heavy genre yeah. so all of those lyrics are very like ambiguous and metaphorical. And there's a, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of big brain stuff. Uh, and um, whenever I would try to write something that would always kind of be like my, my reflex is to kind of take that approach. And I would just, everything would feel horribly disingenuous. So um, like I, I, it just kind of like hit me one day of like, Oh, like, I think it was when I started like really diving into kind of this area of, of like rock and metal where I was just like, Oh, it's like completely acceptable to just write a song. That's like, I'm mad at you. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and like, that's fine. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to like, like beat around the bush. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, um, and I think, I think that also has to do with like, I haven't been on Facebook in a long time, but when I was, I would get in arguments with people all the time. So I got really, I got really good at laying people out in writing. So, so when it came to writing lyrics down, it was like, oh, like I'm basically just doing that, you know? Um, just so go on helped. Facebook for a few minutes and then you got a new song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something. Facebook. I'm always arguing with people on Facebook too. I'm just like, how can you be so stupid? Yeah. I mean, for, for, um, not to get super political uh cuz i don't aim to be that way but like for the for the first 4 years of of trump's presidency like i i was i was just really mad about everything mm -hmm. and after that i was just so exhausted and i was like i can't do this anymore dude i can't be mad about this shit all the time like it's going to be what it's going to be i'll just like i, I just got to like i got to separate from it you know and um and so that was what got me off facebook but those four years and every year before that whether it was political or social or or just like arguing about fucking video games or something mm -hmm. you know what i mean like it was just like so much animosity of like like you are an idiot for thinking that way <laughs> and then like it it just hit me one day that i was like i gotta stop saying that to people <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm the exact same way that's like i have to separate myself too like especially from like the political stuff too because like i used to be so angry about stuff but i'm like i cannot control it anymore so like i can't I have to right. separate myself because otherwise I will literally fill myself with anger and like that is not going to do good for anybody. 
Yeah. And, and also like you find out like the older that you get, the more you find out like that it's like not as cut and dry as you always thought it was Exactly. in terms of like, like you just, you'll, you'll meet people and you'll connect with them and you'll be like, this is an awesome person that I'm talking to. And then you'll find out that they have like one opinion about something. And like in the past that would have been like, well, this person's a scumbag, you know what I mean? Or like this person's anti-American or like whatever your stance is, you know what I mean? And like, It's like, dude, like, that's just such a horrible way to, like, look at people. Exactly. 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 I feel the exact same way. Yeah. So, I don't know how I got there, but that, yeah, to whatever your question was. I... <laughs> You're good. I like I like going on my tangents too. So Right, I like that right, more right. than actual structural. Cool. <laughs> so uh you guys had a new other uh single to the temple and tomb. Can you walk us through the creative process behind that? Was that you again? Kind of Yeah, so that, yeah, Ricky, Ricky helped me with the lyrics on that one, but I knew, like, right away where that one was going. That one is, like, literally the antithesis to This Time Tomorrow. It's, it's the, it's definitely, like, the darkest subject matter. Like, it's the, it's the most, like, self-deprecating, negative kind of shit. And, um, you know, being on the road a lot, like, you, you have a lot of days, you have a lot of days alone because you're surrounded by so many people all the time that when you finally get a chance to just like be by yourself, you're like, all right, I'm going to just take the chance to be by myself. But then it's like you hit a wall, you know what I mean? Just like nothing's happening and you feel super isolated. And I spent a lot of time in hotel rooms. And so, um, you know, just, and like, I'm, you know, I'm an inherently pretty self-deprecating person. I don't have the highest level of confidence. So, um, it was just a really like mental low point. And, and so it was like, I, I had, I had the instrumental kind of like working its way out in my head. And then the, I was like, all right, well, this is already like, before I even like laid anything down, like, it, I was always, I was already like, this is going to be like the heavy one pretty much. So, um, which probably means it should be the angry one or the angriest one, you know? And so I just kind of like, I let myself lean into the negative thoughts for a while because I like, I knew that it was like, there was like a greater end goal in mind, you know, or like, usually I try to like, all right, go get, go get some sunlight, like try to get some fresh air or fucking talk to somebody, eat a fucking apple instead of gummy bears that are in the hotel room, Yeah. you know? <laughs> yes, gummy bears. Um, uh, God, I feel like, I, I feel like such a piece of shit just having eaten those today. Like, um, it's a vicious cycle, but, uh, Boy dinner. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. Usually it's just, usually that's like the reflex is like, try to get yourself, try to get yourself out. of that you know what i mean because it's not good it doesn't feel it doesn't feel good to have to like be like saying negative things about yourself to yourself um but it was like like on a from like a creative perspective like that was that was like the i like really tapped into that like as cliche as it sounds that sort of like quote-unquote tortured artist thing where i was like because i've never had like substance abuse issues or anything like that thankfully but like i I for a minute just kind of like understood like what that perspective was you know what I mean where it's just you're just like wallowing in all the shit and like that's how you like get it out so um the whole I, I was completely alone writing the entire thing the day that I did the vocals I just locked myself in the back lounge of the tour bus because I knew that like it was an off day everyone was going to be in their hotel room and the back lounge of a bus is like surprisingly insulated like it's actually a really good spot to record stuff <laughs> um so uh because like in a hotel room like I could I could do vocals here but there's reflections everywhere you should see I, I probably have a picture of it somewhere on my phone I was in was it Australia? No, it wasn't Australia. It was somewhere. It was, it was somewhere in Asia, and uh, we got like this is another tangent. But the apartments that we got were basically or the the hotel rooms that we got were basically apartments, right? So there was like two bedrooms with two beds apiece, and there was a couch and like all this stuff. And I needed to record vocals for something, and so I literally like moved all the beds out of one room and then took all of the mattresses and made just like a fort, like a fort of mattresses to to get the reflections out because like hotel rooms are obviously not designed to record anything. Yeah. So it's really it can be really difficult to handle the reflections. So it, the back lounge is actually really great for that. Um, so, yeah, it was just like just letting myself like feel everything and like get to like as raw of a place as possible so that I could just express it. as directly as possible um because again like my instinct would be to try to like 
make a metaphor out of something or like try to make something sound smart. And I'm just like, I don't want to, I don't want to sound like I'm trying to be smart. Like I just want to, I just want it to feel like what I'm feeling. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cool. So are these uh, recent singles a part of a larger project or concept that you guys are working on? So the idea definitely was to do a record at first. I, I don't know exactly where we're at with that at the moment, just because, I mean, obviously we've released seven songs now. There's three more from this body of work that I've put together that like, you know, we could just do that. Just put those three other songs with the yeah. seven that have been out and that's the record and cool. And that kind of was the idea. Um, but when you do a record, you want to have like merch bundles and yeah. like the proper promo for it. And, you know, we're only just now starting to ramp up the PR because we've been kind of waiting for proof of concept on this thing for a yeah. little bit. So it's all just kind of up in the air right now. Like we definitely do want to have some sort of larger body of work, whether that's an album or an EP, but now because enough time has passed and, you know, we'll be into next year pretty soon. The conversation is like, well, do any of the first batch of songs make it on there or is it just yeah. going to be all new stuff? And if it's all new stuff, then we have to make a different album name than what we had originally thought, you know what I mean? So yeah. um, it's just uh like the timing didn't really work out as far as the as far as like the album idea was concerned and i didn't really think that there was enough like infrastructure in place for it yet yeah. so um like i'm there will be one at some point you yeah. know i just don't exactly know what shape it's going to take yet cool uh what are wh or what's one thing that you hope people can take away from listening to your guys music so I've said this before, and I, I don't like saying it, not because it's a bad thing to say, but because it just feels very cliche. Yeah. But like, I mean, I think that I think that the one of the only things you can probably take away from music that's so personal to somebody else is just like whether or not you can relate to whatever that person is talking about or what they were experiencing when they wrote that song or whatever. So on on a lot of the, you know, the more negative subjects like hopefully it can just be some sort of confirmation of like cool i'm not the only one that feels this way yeah. um and as far as as far as the new one is concerned you know the the message is very much just like you know kind of this too shall pass kind of vibe you know what i mean so um you know uh luckily i wasn't coming from a place of you know like self-harm or anything like that yeah. um but but you know even so like somebody who might unfortunately be in that situation like if they were to hear the new song and 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 sort of kind of find their own kind of ray of, ray of sunshine through it like even better you know what i mean well that's like that your new song this time tomorrow would be a perfect freaking song for that exactly going through that well that i, appre I appreciate that it's a, you know it's it's hard to um like i said because i haven't experienced like thoughts that have been that extreme i've been very fortunate in that regard like i um it's it's hard for me to directly apply any of our songs to that because part of me feels like like obviously if anybody's feeling that way and I can do anything to help them not feel that way or like or to at least like like tame some of those thoughts like then that's awesome but I also feel that be because I don't directly know what that experience feels like that like I'm, I'm almost like I almost like kind of look at myself as like, who the fuck are you talking to? Sit down. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want to overstep. You yeah. Know? I, don't, I don't, I don't want to pretend that I know what somebody else is going through, but you know, it does, it is cool to see like some of the comments um, that we've been getting on the song of, you know, people who are in recovery or people who have struggled with suicidal thoughts or people that have struggled with literally anything. Yeah. And they're kind of, they're kind of attaching this song to, you know, they're, they're relating it to their own experiences um and it's saying it out loud it's like that almost shouldn't be something that surprises me because that's like a thing that music generally kind of does for everybody yeah. but when when it's your music it it almost feels like why would anybody ever connect with this like yeah. you know what i mean like I'm just, I'm just talking about my bullshit you know what i mean yeah. like um so it's like a difficult thing to wrap your head around but like we've gotten a lot of really um kind of uplifting comments on on the new song so far you know even though it's only been out for a few days so that's definitely like a big yeah. a, a big positive it feels good yeah that's awesome well you'll be getting probably at least a thousand more streams from me from it <laughs> sick been, just keep <laughs> racking them up I've, literally since i listened i listened to it yesterday for the first time and since i listened to it i literally cannot stop i'm like obsessed with it but it, i was also shocked after hearing your for the temple and tomb one because that's the first mm -hmm. one i 
guys. So it was like a such a different mix up. But I think that kind of goes with how you were saying about how you don't want to be wrapped in that like one genre kind of thing or expect something from somebody. So it was cool. Right get that after hearing the temple and soon because that one was just so hard and that one was legit is so it, but it goes hard and then this one is so right. like, uplifting and it like it's like more chill but yeah i'm freaking yeah upset. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm i'm so happy to hear that seriously thank you um yeah i mean i think like there's all even if even when it gets really heavy there's always been like a very clear emphasis on like accessibility and like kind of marketability radio friendly to some degree right like i don't think you'll ever hear temple and tomb on like a terrestrial radio station <laughs> but you know what i mean like even that like the hook is there there's still that sort of pop sensibility to it um so um but yeah that was definitely like i i i, I that's it's a really important thing to me to be like to like have the 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 latitude to to do something like that you know i think there's that's it's de this 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 song is definitely like its own outlier from everything else that we've put out but there but like each song in its own right has been different from the last one too so there's definitely been like um there's definitely been some variety and and like i think that's also important when you're starting something new because a lot of this is just sort of throwing darts at the wall so like if you if you have one song that you think is sick and so you write six other songs that sound like that one, but then that one doesn't hit, you're kind of fucked, you know, so um, but yeah, no, I mean, I'm I'm very, very pleased with the reaction to this song and, you know, the, the folks at Octane seem to really dig it and, you know, comments have been great. So I appreciate that. And everything that you've said has been awesome. So thank you. Of course. Do you guys have any uh, plans for any like live performances anytime soon? um hold on sorry i just got some sort of text message no, you're good. no it's okay it's okay i can hit it as whenever the tour thread lights up i'm like uh oh what's happening um yeah so we have our first live show in december um with uh august burns red um with a bunch of us have known those guys for a long time and most of us are from pennsylvania so it's All like right. an easy kind of kind of hometown show yeah. um we're talking to booking agents right now about like what opportunities there might be next year. You know, most of the festivals and stuff are already kind of booked up. There might be some opportunities here and there, but it's probably going to be trying to find like intelligent opening slots. Um, I don't know exactly how much touring there will be since we all already tour full time or like if you know if a if a tour does come up and you know one guy's not available we might still have to do the tour and have somebody fill in or just not have that person there depending on what position it is um so you know the nature of starting a band with people in other prominent bands is it's going to be difficult logistically yeah, it's like um harder than just a regular like a regular upcoming up and coming band like that are that's their main focus kind of thing rather than you guys already yeah. have your own things doing your own things and then coming together to do this so that's probably a lot yeah. more and than regular yeah. and, and also like we're you know I mean, I look. I have no. I have no illusions that um, that Hillhaven is just going to be like headlining arenas in a few months. It's like I know how this works. That's not how it goes. But like, we also like we've all been doing this for long enough, and we we know that when you start a new band, you're kind of going back to zero. Yeah. So um, we've all gotten used to touring in buses and having hotel rooms and like doing, and that's probably not something that's going to be happening with this band. So. Um, we're okay with that, but, uh, we want to make sure that the, um, that like whatever tour we're doing it for is like the right one. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and that's not, it's not to like throw shade in any band that we don't tour with or whatever. Um, it's, it's just that like, you know, with something like this, you want to make sure that you're putting it in front of the right audiences and like, you know, not only do we not have, you know, the, like necessarily the time, um, to do the, you know, just kind of eat shit for eight months out of the year, you know, grind that most new bands have to go through, but also just like physically, we can't, we can't do that anymore. We're all over 30, you know? So, um, so, you know, just like living in a van and making no money for, for an entire year, it's, um, it's not the most feasible thing. So, so, you know, there definitely are, um, some challenges with it, but, you know, obviously the, the music has so far proved to be accessible enough to kind of, um, perk the ears up from some of the right people. Um, so, you know, we're hoping we can kind of lean into that and, and make some, some smart choices that, 
that aren't necessarily the most difficult ones, if that makes sense. But, you know, obviously that could be a total pipe dream, but, you know, we'll see what happens. That makes total sense. <laughs> cool. I think that's all that I had for you. So thank you so much for meeting with me and taking the time. Of course. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Cool. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Have a good one.